Young picks up a first down on the play. First down and 10, Kahoma from Holmes' 30-yard line. Two minutes left in the first quarter. Joe Johnson is quarterbacking for the Tigers on tonight. Have two wide outs to the left. Mr. Michael Young in the backfield along with Mr. Joe Johnson. So Johnson keeps the ball, picked up one yard on the play. Second down and nine from the 29-yard line of Holmes with one minute and 40 seconds left in the first quarter. Kahoma, six, Holmes, zero. Second down and nine from the 29-yard line of Holmes. Play clock has 26 seconds left on the play clock. Mr. Johnson looks, gets the play, have two wide outs to the left, one wide out to the right. Mr. Young's in the backfield. Michael Young, along with Mr. Joe Johnson. Have a man in motion. Johnson keeps it, picks up a first down from the 10-yard line. First down and goal from the 10. One minute left in the first quarter. Mr. Johnson is doing it all on tonight. Clock is running. 58 seconds left in the first quarter. Michael Young's in the backfield. Two wide outs to the right. Joe Johnson is still quarterback. Michael Young gets the ball. He picks up two yards on the play. Second down and goal. The seven, eight yard line. 28 seconds left in the first quarter. Twenty seconds on the play clock. Nineteen seconds left in the first quarter. Tigers, second and eight. Joe Johnson is quarterback. He keeps the ball. He's running. He's running. He's running. Touchdown, Tigers. Touchdown, Tigers. Kahoma. Touchdown. With three seconds left in the first quarter. No assist is out for the extra point. He'll be kicking, punting from the 10 yard line of Holmes. Kahoma, 12. Holmes, 0. No assist is kicking from the 10 yard line for the extra point. Extra point is good. Kahoma, 13. Holmes, 0. Three seconds left in the first quarter. We're having technical difficulties. The band is up and playing. Everybody's happy right about now for the Kahoma Tigers. Radio station on WCQC 91.3 FM, the voice of Kahoma. A pleasant good evening to everyone tonight. Kahoma Community College Tigers is facing off against Holmes Community College. They made their way from Goodman, Mississippi. I want to thank everyone who, who tuned in and we want to apologize for that technical difficulty we had in the beginning of the game. But if you are tuning in now, you are just in time. Kahoma is 13. And Holmes is zero. We are still in the first quarter. So thank you so much for staying with us. And our play-by-play commentator, Mr. Kenneth Bell, is going to take you through this entire game. Once again, we are here in Clarksville, Mississippi. Our second home game of the season. Holmes is facing off against Kahoma Community College. Kahoma, 13. Holmes is zero. Absolutely. Thank you, Ms. Mark. Holmes bring the point back to the own 35-yard line end of the first quarter. Holmes will begin and play at their own 34-yard line. I tell you, Miss Mark, the first quarter was absolutely just what Kahoma needed. Yes, and I like this momentum. As you know, last week we were not able to play, and I believe Coach Macon and his entire team 
got enough time to rest and get enough time to recuperate and come out tonight. They are excited, they are energetic, and they are going for the win. Absolutely. This would be a big win for the Tigers of Oklahoma. Holmes comes in 0-2. This will be a big win for the Kahoma Tigers football program. A switch end of the field, so Holmes will be first and 10 from their own 34-yard line. 15 minutes left in the second quarter. Holmes have two wideouts to the left, one wideout to the right, one in the backfield. Holmes picked up one yard on the play. Second up and nine. From the 36-yard line of Holmes. 14 minutes and 48 seconds left in the first quarter. Second quarter. Tigers of Oklahoma. 13. Holmes. Zero. Holmes are the Bulldogs, by the way. Second down and nine. Have two wide outs to the right, two wide outs to the left. No one in the backfield. Quarterback is up under the center. Marlon Winham and a host of Tigers on the stop. Home lost five yards on that play. Third down and 16. From their own 28-yard line. Third down and 16 with 13 minutes and 50 seconds left in the second quarter. Kahoma Tigers, 13, home Bulldogs, zero. Holmes have one wide out to the right, two wide out to the left. Quarterback is up under the center, one running back in the backfield. Marlon won them on the stop. They lost about 15 yards on the play. Holmes will be punting the ball off to the Tigers with 13 minutes and 20 seconds left in the second quarter. I tell you, Kahoma defense have really stepped up tonight. Kahoma Tigers have all the momentum right about now, which is a good thing for the Tigers. 13 minutes left in the Holmes is punting from his own end zone. They down the ball at the 47-yard line. First down and 10, Kahoma, from Holmes' 47-yard line with 12 minutes and 40 seconds left in the second quarter. Kahoma Tigers, 13. Holmes, Bulldog, 0. Joe Johnson coming back out, quarterbacking for the Tigers. Have Mr. McCullen in the backfield. We have one wide out to the right, one wide out to the left. 12 minutes and 40 seconds left in the second quarter. First down and 10, Kahoma. Darius Zane was out to the right. Quarterbacks keep it. They push him out at the... 21-yard line. First down and 10. Kahoma Tigers. What a run by Mr. Joe Johnson. Flag on the field. We're going to bring it back. Illegal substituting by the Tigers. Wow. Instead of 1st and 10, we're looking at 1st and 15 from the 47-yard line of the Tigers. 12 minutes left in the second quarter. Play clock is at 19. Joe Johnson is back. A man in motion. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. Illegal procedure against the Tigers. Bag is up 
Another five yards. We're going in the wrong direction right now. We need to get it together on offense. First down and 20. From the 40, from our own 42-yard line, Cahoma. Joe Johnson looks. He gets the play. We have three wide out to the left. One wide out to the right. Mr. McCullen's in the backfield along with Mr. Johnson. He's in shotgun formation. First down and 20 for the Tigers. Johnson is back. He's looking. He's looking. He's... Complete pass to Mr. McCullen. Picked up 11 yards on the play. Second down and 10. From Holmes' 47-yard line. 11 minutes and 40 seconds left in the second quarter. 20 seconds left on the play clock. Cahoma have three wide outs to the left, two wide outs to the right. Mr. Johnson is in the backfield alone. He's back. He's looking. He's looking. He throws. The ball is caught by Mr. McCullen. He picked up seven, eight yards on the play. Third and four. From Holmes' 42-yard line. 11 minutes and 20 seconds left in the second quarter. Mr. Johnson looks. He gets the play. We have two wide outs to the right. Mr. McCullum's in the backfield. Mr. Johnson is shotgun formation. 11 minutes left in the second quarter. Johnson keeps it. He picks up three yards. Fourth down and one. Fourth and one with 10 minutes and 50 seconds left in the second quarter. Tigers will be going for it. Mr. Johnson in shotgun formation. Mr. McCullum's in the backfield. Two wide outs to the right. Look like they stopped the Tigers. First down and 10, Holmes, from their own 40-yard line. 10 minutes and 35 seconds left in the second quarter. Be going to a commercial break. Clarksville, Mississippi. What brought me here to Cahoma is a lot of my family works here and they really just instilled in me what Cahoma is about and the many opportunities that I could have just by coming here and just really doing well in school. It's been very, very important that I work my hardest to receive those scholarships and use them for the best use of my time being here at Cahoma. I think it's important to give back to Cahoma, mainly because it's about what Cahoma instilled in you, just about what it's doing in the community and what it's doing for many communities and surrounding areas, reciprocating the potential that Cahoma has allowed for many students everywhere. To someone that is on the fence about giving back to Cahoma, I would say to them that there's so much potential here and so many things that we could venture out and do with the help of them and things that they may have that we may not have, but just the matter of them giving can help make Cahoma a greater institution. I'm in. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. Holmes have the first down and 10 from Cahoma 42-yard line with 10 minutes and 30 seconds left in the second quarter. The quarterback, he's up under the center, have one wide out to the right, one to the left, and has a running back in the backfield. Man in motion. Picked up nine yards on the play. Second down and one, Holmes from Cahoma. 33-yard line with 10 minutes left in the second quarter. I like Holmes is going with her up offense. Javon McDonald's quarterback, freshman for Holmes. Have one wide out to the right, one to the left. 
One running back in the backfield with nine minutes and 52 seconds left. Second down and one. Holmes. First down and ten. Holmes. Nine minutes and 40 seconds left in the second quarter. 30 seconds on the play clock. Javon McDonald gets a play. One wide out to the right, one wide out to the left, one running back in the backfield. With nine minutes and 20 seconds left in the second quarter, Tahoma Tigers 13, home Bulldogs 0. First down and 10, Holmes. What a stop by Mr. Allen Robinson. Lost four yards on the play. Second down and 14. Holmes. From the 35 yard line of the Tigers. Eight minutes and 40 seconds left. Second quarter. Play clock is at 10 seconds. One wide out to the left. One wide out to the right for the Bulldogs. Flag is on the play. With 8 minutes and 32 seconds left in the second quarter. Illegal procedure against the Bulldogs of Holmes. Bag them up 5 yards. Second down and 17. They own from Kahoma 38 yard line. Second down and 17. Holmes. Mr. McDonald still the quarterback for Holmes. Bulldogs. Has one wide out to the right, one wide out to the left. One running. Well, he had a triple. Holmes picks up 14 yards on the play. Third down and three. From the 25-yard line of the Tigers. With seven minutes and 50 seconds left in the second quarter. Play clock is down to 15. McDonald has a wide out to the right, wide out to the left. And they going triple option in the backfield. Two in slot, one behind the quarterback. Gives it to the up back, picks up a first down. First down and 10 home from Kahoma, 17 yard line with seven minutes, 20 seconds left in the second quarter. Kahoma Tigers, 13. Holmes Bulldog, zero. 25 seconds left on the play clock for the Bulldogs. And Mr. Bell, it's a lovely evening for football. The temperature is great, and our home fans, they love the score so far. Absolutely. First down and 10, home from the Oklahoma 17-yard line. Injured player on the field for the Tigers. Injured player, so we'll be taking a commercial break. More information and better content with all things Kahoma Athletic. Head to our athletics website and become a true Tiger fan by hitting the follow button for all of Kahoma's athletic social media pages. It's a new day, a new culture. It's the new Kahoma. Let us hear you roar! Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. At James E. Miller Stadium here on the campus of Cahoma Community College here in the city of Clarksdale, Mississippi. And it looks like that injured player is making his way off the field. Yes, he is. We're trying to get a number on him. We can't see it 
as of now. Looks like number eight, Robert Spearman. Okay, that's Mr. Spearman. See, he's hopping off on his own wheel, so that's a good thing. Hope he's not injured too bad. Second down and 12, Holmes from the Tigers 20-yard line. Six minutes and 40 seconds left in the second quarter. Third down and 12. From the Tigers 20-yard line. Six minutes and 40 seconds left before half. This game is moving along tonight. But the Tigers defense and offense look good thus far. Yes, and it was always expected to be a fast-paced game. Third down and 12 for Oklahoma. 19 yard on 19 yard line. Holmes Bulldog. We need a big defensive stop here. Timeout. Holmes. We'll be going to a commercial break. By starting a career in healthcare, Oklahoma Community College offers eight health sciences programs with options to fit any lifestyle. From CNA to RN, Oklahoma is the starting point. Your dreams, your success, our mission. I am from Jamaica, South Manchester. What brought me to Kohama College? I am a talented athlete and I do track and field. Many people back home, they don't have the opportunity of getting a scholarship going overseas. Having a scholarship will help you get to where you want to go. Giving back is important because they gave you first. Back, ladies and gentlemen, third down and 12, and a flag is on the play. With six minutes and 35 seconds left in the second quarter. Fumble on the play. Holmes picked it up. They are down to the 10-yard line. But let's see what the flag is and who is against. Offside against Kahoma. They decline it. Offsides against the Tigers of Kahoma. That gives them the balls inside the 14 yard line. Third down in six homes. From Kahoma, 15-yard line with 6 minutes and 20 seconds left in the second quarter. 13 seconds on the play clock for Holmes. One wide out to the right, one to the left. Touchdown, Holmes, with 6 minutes and 5 seconds left in the second quarter. Holmes, 6 Kahoma 13. Yeah, so Holmes were finally able to get on the scoreboard, but I believe the Tigers have already done their work and they're going to keep up this momentum and keep adding more points on the scoreboard to continue this lead. Flag is on the play. The punt is good. Home decline it. Point after good. Home 7, Kahoma 13. Six minutes and five seconds left in the second quarter. It's a good afternoon for football. We have a good afternoon for the Kahoma Tigers fan. Home brought a good. Crowd from Goodman, Mississippi, all the way to Clarksdale with them as well. Yes, 
and we would like to thank our fans who were in the crowd tonight who came out to let their chairs be heard right here in Clarksdale, Mississippi and to all our fans who are listening on WCQC 91.3 FM thank you so much for tuning in it is a great night for football as well as our fans looking on on KahomaSports.com we truly appreciate you and we are going to be looking on as the Tigers are aiming for this win this is our second home game of the season absolutely Holmes will be punting the ball off from their own 35-yard line with six minutes and five seconds left in the second quarter. Tigers have two deep back to receive the punt. First down and 10, Kahoma from their own 30-yard line. What a great run back. Mr. Lockett. First down and 10, Cahoma. From their own 31-yard line with 5 minutes and 56 seconds left in the second quarter. Cahoma 13, Holmes 7. Have 9 seconds on the plate clock. With five minutes and 56 seconds left in the second quarter. First down and 10, Kahoma Tigers. That is Mr. Michael Young on the plate. Picked up 25 yards on the plate. First down and 10, Kahoma. From Holmes' 47-yard line. Five minutes and 30 seconds left in the second quarter. Marco Young is a freshman from Ridgeland High School. Joe Johnson keeps picks up three yards on the play. Second down and seven. With five minutes left in the second quarter. Kahoma have one wide out to the left, two wide outs to the right. Mr. Johnson is in shotgun formation. Mr. Michael Young is in slot position. Play clock is down to 10. Picks up two yards on the play. Third down and four. Four minutes and 42 seconds left in the second quarter. Play clock is... 25 seconds. Kahoma have two wide outs to the right, two wide outs to the left. Mr. Johnson is in shotgun formation. Flag is on the play. Legal procedure against the Tigers of Kahoma. A bag is up five yards. It'll be third down and 10. With four minutes and 30 seconds left in the second quarter. Joe Johnson is quarterback, and he's in shotgun formation. We have three wide outs to the right and two wide outs to the left with four minutes and 20 seconds left before half. 15 seconds on the play clock. So Johnson's back. He's looking. He's running. Picked up one yard on the play. Fourth down and nine from the 45-yard line of Holmes. Three minutes and 55 seconds left in the second quarter. No assist is in punting. He'll be punting from his own 39-yard line. With three minutes and 45 seconds left in the second quarter. Balls goes out of bounds at 10-yard line. First down and 10 home from their own 10-yard line with three minutes and 30 seconds left in the second quarter. Miss Mark, so far, what do you think about the game? Well, I love the momentum CCC started off the game with. 
and I do believe they're going to carry this through halftime. And if we continue seeing a pattern, CCC has a pattern that they really play stronger after second half. So this is good. We have a lead, and we just have to continue putting more points on the board, especially in this last three minutes of the game, and just continue this, this speed because Holmes is a fast-playing team. So I believe if they continue this, we can get the win tonight. And, of course, Holmes is trying to push back, trying to also put points for their side. But I don't think they have it tonight because CCC, they, our fans are out tonight, and they want it, especially coming off of that loss the last time we played here against Itawamba. Absolutely. Three minutes left in the second quarter. Second down and eight, Holmes. 15 seconds on the play clock. They have one wide out to the right, two wide outs to the left. Quarterback is up under the center. And picks up the first down on the uh, on the cap. First down and 10. Holmes. With two minutes and 37 seconds left in the second quarter. 30 seconds left on the plate clock. Get in the play in. They set. One wide out to the right. With two minutes and 19 seconds left in the second quarter. Play clock is at 10 seconds. One wide out to the right. One wide out to the left. Two in the slot position. First down and 10. Holmes. From the own 34-yard line with two minutes left in the second quarter. First down and 10, Holmes. One minute and 56 seconds left before half. 20 seconds left on the play clock. One wide out to the right. One wide out to the left. Quarterback is up under center. Man in motion. Tiger gets the ball on turnover. Fumble on the play. Kahoma has it. And that is the energy I'm talking about, Mr. Bell. Tigers won it tonight. Absolutely. We need this win. With one minute and 32 seconds left before halftime. Tigers first down and 10 from Holmes' 29-yard line. With one minute and 32 seconds left before the half. Uh, we need to score here because Holmes get the ball in first in the second half. They deferred it in the first half. One minute and 32 seconds left before half. Joe Johnson is shotgun formation. Three wide outs to the right, one to the left. Johnson keeps it. He picks up five yards on the play. One minute and 20 seconds left in the second quarter. Clock is running. Second down five. 25-yard line of Holmes. Play clock is at 25 seconds. Johnson's back. He's looking. He's looking. He throws. Pass is caught. Clock is still running. Third down and three for Oklahoma Tigers. 50 seconds left in the second quarter. Timeout. Kahoma Tigers with 51 seconds left before the half. Third down and four from Holmes' 23-yard line. I tell you, the Kahoma Tigers are playing football tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We need this win tonight. And they will be getting ready to face off against Mississippi Delta next week. So they need this win going into next week's game as a confidence booster. And to let the other teams know that CCC Tigers, it's a new Oklahoma, and we are ready to play football this 2020 season. Absolutely, Miss. Absolutely, Miss Mark. Third down and four, Oklahoma. From home's 23-yard line with 51 seconds left before half. 
Joe Johnson is quarterback, and they have two wideouts to the right, two wideouts to the left. Mr. McCullough's in the backfield along with Mr. Johnson. Johnson throws the ball, but it's sh- short. Fourth down and four with 47 seconds left before the half. What are the Tigers going to do? No assist is out for three-point conversion. Attempt. He'll be kicking it from the 30-yard line. He'll be kicking it from the 30-yard line with 47 seconds left before half. And no assist has had a busy season in those far. Yes, he has. Flags on the play. Missed, missed field goal, but flags on the play. All sides against Holmes Bulldog. That would give them a first down. First. Forty one second left before half. Joe Johnson is out. Three wide eyes to the right, one to the left. Mr. McCullough's in the backfield along with Mr. Johnson. He's in shotgun formation. 41 seconds left before half. Timeout, Holmes. Commercial break. And we are back from a commercial break. We have 41 seconds remaining in the second quarter before halftime. First down and 10. Johnson is back. He's looking. He throws the ball. Incomplete pass. 33 seconds left in the second quarter. 30 seconds left on the play clock. Second down and 10. From Holmes' 18-yard line. Second down and 10, Tiger with 33 seconds left before the half. Joe Johnson have three wide outs to the right, one to the left. Mr. McCullum's in the backfield along with Mr. Johnson. Johnson is back. He's looking. He throws. Ball is caught. First down and 10 from the three-yard line. Pass was caught by Mr. Amos. Timeout. Kahoma Tigers with 25 seconds left in the second quarter. We're going to a commercial break. Just a home marching band. Okay, and we are back. 
First down and goal from the four-yard line. Gets it to McCullum. Gets it to McCullum. He's running. He's running. He's held up at the five-yard line. We got 14 seconds. The clock is running before halftime. Tigers need to get a playoff. McCullum's in the backfield. Tigers... Going for a field goal. Mr. Sis is back out. He'll be kicking from the 10, 12 yard line. He'll be kicking from the 12 yard line. A three point conversion attempt with six seconds left before the half. And we need this going into half time. Timeout, Holmes. Six seconds left before half. Commercial. So at this time, I would like to tell all our listeners, whether on WCQC 91.3 FM or those looking on at kahomasports.com, registration is open for Kahoma Community College Spring 2021. Classes begin on January 7th. Graduates early, pick up where you left off. Improve your GPA. The choice is yours. Register today by visiting www.kahomacc.edu slash registration. And there is six seconds on the clock. The score is 13 Tigers, Holmes 7. Absolutely, Miss Marks. I tell you, we need this three-point conversion here. Yes. Like he'll be punted from the 12-yard line of Holmes with six seconds left before half. And that is no assist from Boonesville. It's good. It's good. 16 Kahoma. Seven homes. Half time here at James E. Miller Stadium. And we couldn't have asked for a better gift going into half time. Absolutely. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to turn it over to the Kahoma Marching Band. Good afternoon, Tiger fans. We don't know if the Tigers' margin band is coming on the field tonight or they're going to play in the bleachers. Look like they'll be playing in the bleachers tonight as well. Well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, Oklahoma Tigers 16, Holmes Bulldogs 7.
Community College is a two-year accredited public comprehensive institution of higher learning committed to serving as a catalyst for community and economic development in the rural Northwest Mississippi Delta region and beyond. The college provides accessible, diverse, quality, equitable education opportunities and support services that foster holistic growth in a student-centered learning environment. The college is committed to preparing students for college or university transfer and entry into a skilled workforce. Cahoma Community College strives to improve student success by developing a five-year quality enhancement plan that engages and empowers first-time-ever in college FTEIC students to be empowered and successful in a revitalized and enhanced advisement protocol with reinforcement from a revitalized orientation course. The proposed QEP topic is Road to Success, Revitalizing Orientation and Advisement Development. We are an institution providing educational services and our effectiveness is based in large on the success of our students. So this QEP proposal, Road to Success, is aimed at making certain that students reach their educational goals, not on their own. We partner with them on day one by ensuring uh, that they have at least two touches with us, a faculty member or a counselor, once before midterm, once after midterm. And we are very excited about the likelihood of increasing the chances of students reaching their educational goals. Quality Enhancement Plan is a way to help Cahoma assist students in being successful and the plan is a five-year plan, but before you get to the plan, you have a three-year process where you research, investigate, you look at all Tacoma's strengths and weaknesses, and you look at a way that will help students if you improve an area, and it will most and helps to help students uh, be more successful. And as we were researching and using all of our constituents and stakeholders questionnaires and feedback, we realized that advising was what we wanted to focus on. From being a part of this pro process, everything is about leading them down a road to success. All right. And, and for this particular project, road is all about revitalizing orientation and advising development we got to lead students towards a destination. So if success is the destination, then we've got to point students in that direction. Uh, being involved in this initiative, it really gives us a chance to set students up on the front end. It gives us a chance to highlight students who need certain uh, programs, who need certain resources but it also allows us to highlight those students who may not be in need of those particular resources, but they, are, they need an extra push to go somewhere else. I'm actually impressed with our new QEP, Road to Success here at Oklahoma, because it helps us students get more acclimated in what we have going here. If it's just only knowing who your advisor is, uh, where your classes are located, and where the admission building is, it just it provides a better service for us between our teachers and staffs. Oh, the work behind the scenes. Oh, so let me be completely honest and tell you that that committee, wow, two years ago, three years ago, we, we started, we actually started conversation five years ago on what we were going to do. Five or six years ago, we've been talking about what the topic w would be. So we, we, were, we were in rooms many times faculty members talking about what is our students greatest needs what what are our students greatest challenges uh, what is the single most important thing we can do right now to help our students stay in school to help our students persist and graduate so we started conversations five or six years ago as we got closer to this particular time we had uh, we had meetings that were more focused that were more narrow in, in, in scope and we, we, we fought over topics. <laughs> we, we argued very passionately and very um, intentionally because the faculty, the administration, uh, also the president's office and all staff, we all care 
about the students here at Cahoma. So the passion wasn't driven by uh, a desire to have our way when it, when it came to the QEP. The passion and the intense uh, arguments or discussions were taking place because we want our students to be successful. And we all believe that our students can be successful here. And we believe that we can help them achieve their uh, academic goals or their educational goals. We, we all believe in it. No, we shouldn't ever, once we make this advance forward, there's no looking back. And, so, and also learning how to do this, uh, the initiatives and stuff, will help us to develop other goals and other benefits for the student. So as we move along, the students are not only here to, to learn, we're here to learn also. And we're learning how to better serve our, our students and our constituencies. Uh, the road to success, uh, I think that's a really good topic, title, uh, to inspire our staff and, and, and teachers and administration and to inspire students to, uh, to keep going, to keep working towards, towards success. And I think that the process that we have put in place, the QEP, uh, of revitalizing orientation to assist students in starting out where they need to, and then an, another advisement development uh, along during the semester to, to move them towards the next step, the next semester, next step in their education. Um, I think will work well. I think it's a really good plan. After reviewing CCC data, focusing on areas of the needed improvement and opinions of the college's constituents and stakeholders and the five county district to determine needs and solutions, the consensus was to focus on a targeted audience of FTEIC. These freshmen usually overcome many obstacles to enroll and be retained in college. As a result of the QEP team's review, the results revealed that assisting students in their first-time experiences in college will encourage the focus group to be engaged, empowered for success, and retained throughout their educational career at CCC. There are other issues that prevent students from staying in school, such as uh, I know uh, at one point we had a student that, was, that couldn't pay their electricity bill but the student navigator knew a community organization that would pay it for her. So she was able to get that paid and that was a relief for her, so now she could study. So it's extremely important. Students cannot navigate without help. I am glad that Cahoma Community College has developed the Road to Success Plan. I feel like it has many great elements that will push the students to become more successful. There are different guidelines we have to follow that SACS have put down. And basically, we followed the playbook. Uh, we did surveys, we did questionnaires, we interviewed students, faculty, staff, and community organizations, and uh, found out what was important to them. We all understand that if we're gonna be open as an institution, we, got to, we have to make certain that we increase the likelihood of our students reaching their goals. So we all have to, uh, do our part to make certain that our students uh, will be able to increase the likelihood of reaching their goals. That acronym, Road to Success, says, says so much or speaks to the work that this college is prepared to perform in order to ensure the success of every student who walks through the doors of Cahoma Community College. Every student who signs on on the internet to become a student. That road to success, it, it doesn't mean once you get here. Road to success means before you come, we want to know all about you. We want to know how to prepare for you before you get here. So that challenges you may face, we want to already have an answer in place. Or we want to have some measures in place to protect you from ever encountering some of those problems. That's what, in, that's what road to success. Once you start, once you step foot on this path to completing an education here at Cahoma, when you step foot on that path, we're ready. We're ready to hold your hand. We're ready to walk beside you. We're ready to go the first mile with you along that road. We're ready to meet you five miles down the road. Wherever, your wherever you encounter challenges, 
on that road to your successful graduation. We're right there with you every step of the way. Whether our students are enrolling into one of Cahoma's 15 career and technical programs, eight health science, or one of more than 61 degree parallel programs. Our commitment to the success of our college and its students is paramount. For 70 years, we've had an unwavering belief in an education rooted in creativity, values, and intellectual curiosity. Much has changed since Cahoma opened its doors in 1949. 70 years later, we remain a vital part of our community, changing the lives of countless successful Tiger alums. This is our charge. This is our mission. To all our fans still with us during halftime, do not go anywhere if you're listening to us on WCQC 91.3 FM or you're looking on on www.cohomasports.com. We have three minutes and 50 seconds left in halftime to start the third quarter. So continue staying with us during these commercial breaks. You look out through that window and you see why I love Cahoma. First time I picked 200 pounds of cotton, I picked it right out there between here and that church down there. But I didn't want to keep picking 200 pounds all my life. And this was my way out. The whole idea of having a junior college was Mr. McLaurin's idea. You don't care how you try to guide the subject, we're going to get back to Mr. McLaurin. <laughs> he, he's just our world. I'm always just so amazed at how the courage of the late B.F. McLaurin, first president, and the team that he put together to just take on the task of wanting to set up a 13th grade equivalent to college in the middle of nowhere. I've had the opportunity to serve under all five presidents in some way or another, and they have all had a vision for Oklahoma, where they wanted to see it go. It was my job to get the school accredited, and I was blessed to be president when we became a full-time, comprehensive, Rural Community College. Cahoma has been standing on an illustrious legacy, and each year, or with each president, it's been building up in terms of the foundation. My entire career, you would be pleased to know, is at Cahoma Community College. I was 22 years old when I first came to Cahoma. I was just fresh out of graduate school with a degree in counseling. I am so proud to have been a part of it. I am so proud to have served the institution. Celebrating 70 years is so important because I believe many people didn't expect the college to last that long. This was a place in the community where black people could go to school and there weren't many places in 1949 where black students could go for higher education. Cahoma was once known as a college that would never be. So you had a lot of fighters out there who came in with a mission, a goal, and a vision. And they followed that mission. And they instill that mission in everybody who comes here to Cahoma Community College. And that's something that we are very, very proud of. We have a long history of being a community college, and we continue to serve the population. So we are very proud of the fact that we are still standing. We're still here. We made it. Not only are we still here and survived, but we're thriving. Many have come here and have started here, and they're now doctors, lawyers, and so forth. So to me, it registered that Cahoma Community College is a launching pad. You start here, you can go anywhere you want to go. 70 years to Cahoma Community College really means 70 years of service. That's what the institution has been about since its very beginning. If it had not been for Cahoma Community College, I know kids like myself would have never had a chance to have a college degree. When you go through our programs, they are stepping stones to something else. The sky's the limit. It's whatever you want to do. I'm very proud to be a Tiger. You can't second guess yourself about this opportunity. Once you see it, you take it, and I promise you, you won't regret it. I'm very proud to be a part of the legacy here at Coleman Community College, and I hope many other people will continue the legacy for 70 more years. And we want to be able to remove the doubters and the detractors from them and say, you can do it. 
I'm thankful for Kahoma Community College for giving me the opportunity to better myself in my life. Some people don't care, but here, everyone cares. They want you to be great. Whatever your next step is, Kahoma prepares you for that next step. I think we need to personally take up the challenge of doing what the late B.F. McLaurin did, moving in such a way where the institution can still be here another 70 years. Some years ago, Kahoma was labeled as the college that cares. And as generations pass on, we all come in and we grab that same brand. And because we care, I think we're going to always have students, we're going to always have qualified faculty, we will always have a qualified president, so Kahoma will be here from now on. It'll be here. I want the next person to be able to say, hey, we're here now at a 140. I see Kahoma Community College better each year. Each year that I've been here, we've made new strides. We've opened new doors, made available more opportunities for our students. So in the next 70 years, without question, Kahoma Community College will be stronger. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Kahoma Community College. James E. Miller Stadium, the second half has begun. First down and 10, home from their own 40-yard line. 14 minutes and 47 seconds left in the third quarter. Plate clock is at 15 and counting. Holmes have one wide out to the right, one wide out to the left, and three in the backfield. Quarterback is up in the center. Picked up two yards on the play. Second down and eight from the 42-yard line of Holmes. 14 minutes and 35 seconds left in the third quarter. Kahoma, 16. Holmes, 7. Second down and 8 from their own 42-yard line. 20 seconds left on the play clock. One wide out to the right. One wide out to the left. Quarterback up on the center. Three in the backfield. A man in motion. Give it to the up back. Picked up no yards on the play. Third down and eight from their own 42-yard line. What a defensive stop. Marlon Winterman and a host of Tigers on the stop. Third down and eight from their own 42-yard line. 20 seconds left on the play clock. Holmes have one wide out to the right, one to the left. Quarterback up under center and three in the backfield. First down and ten, Holmes. From Kahoma, five-yard line. Six, seven-yard line. First down and ten. First down and goal from the seven-yard line. 13 minutes and nine seconds left in the third quarter. And Mr. Bams, Holmes is trying to make their move right now early in the third quarter because this is the time if they have to catch the Tigers, they have to start making a move now. Absolutely. 13 minutes left in the third quarter. First down and goal from the seven-yard line. Have a man in motion. Up back, picked up one yard on the play. Second down and goal from the five-yard line. 12 minutes and 35 seconds left in the third quarter. Play clock is at 25 seconds. Holmes looks, he gets the play. One wide out to the right. One wide out to the left. 12 minutes and 21 seconds left in the third quarter. Kahoma, 16. Holmes, 7. Eight seconds left on the play clock. Down at the one-yard line. Third down and goal from the one. With 
11 minutes and 50 seconds left in the third quarter. Holmes is moving the ball. 11 minutes and 45 seconds. Holmes gets to play. One wide out to the right, one to the left. Three in the backfield, quarterback is up under center. That is Mr. McDonald, quarterback. Quarterback keeps chase down, Holmes. Thirteen Holmes, sixteen Kahoma Tigers. Coming in for the extra point to be punting from the ten yard line of the Tigers. Play clock is at fifteen seconds. Extra point is good. Holmes, 14. Kahoma, 16. What a game we have now. Yes, yeah, so now Holmes has closed the gap. They're Abs- only down by two. So this is where the game gets really intense and the competition starts. But I believe, as we've seen the Tigers handle themselves earlier on in the season, they always push through. After halftime, you know, they pick up their speed, pick up that energy. And they started off the game earlier this evening with that momentum. So we are hoping to just keep getting points on the board to continue extending this lead. Absolutely. We have to persevere here in the third quarter. We just got to say offense keeps you in the game and defense win the game. So we're going to have to play Kahoma football and stick to details the remaining of this game because this is anybody game, 16 to 14. Holmes will be punting off from their own 35-yard line with 11 minutes and 20 seconds in the third quarter. This is a great football game this afternoon. Twenty-five seconds on the plate clock. They'll be punting off from their own 35-yard line. Short kick caught by the fair catch caught by the up back. Joshua Dixon. Good fair catch by Mr. Dixon. First down and ten, Kahoma. From the own thirty yard line. Eleven minutes and twenty one seconds left in the third quarter. Quarterback would be Joe Johnson. Mr. Johnson have three wide outs to the right, one to the left, and Mr. McCullen in the backfield. Nine seconds on the play clock. Johnson keeps it. He's running. Picks up about four yards on the play. Second down and six, Kahoma Tigers. From their own 34-yard line. 11 minutes. 13 seconds left in the third quarter. 20 seconds on the play clock. Mr. Johnson have two wide outs to the right, two to the left, and Mr. McCullen in the backfield. Johnson is back. He's looking. He's throwing. The pass is complete. Kobe Lockett. What a good catch and a good throw. First down and 10, Tigers from their own 44-yard line. 10 minutes and 50 seconds left. Three wide outs to the right, one to the left. Give the ball to some McCullen. He's picking up yards. He's picking up yards. He's at the 35-yard line of Holmes. First down and 10. What a run by Mr. McCullen. And I'm sorry, those who are listening on the radio could not see the speed by Mr. McCullough to get there. Absolutely. First down and 10. 10 minutes and 30 seconds left in the third quarter. 20 seconds on the play clock. Kahoma have two wide outs to the right, two to the left, and Mr. Johnson is in shotgun formation. Fakes it to Mr. McCullough. Mr. Johnson keeps it. He picks up five yards. Second down and five. From the 30-yard line of Holmes. 
Ten minutes left in the third quarter. The Tigers are on the move. Two wide outs to the right. One to the left. Mr. Johnson in shotgun formation. Flag is on the play. Mr. McCullum picked up good yards on the play. Flags are on the play. Look like it's going to be against the Bulldogs. Personal foul against the Bulldogs. 15-yard penalty. First down and 10. Kahoma Tigers. First down and 10 from Holmes' 11-yard line with 9 minutes and 35 seconds left in the third quarter. 20 seconds on the play clock. One wide out to the right, three to the left. Mr. McCullough's in the backfield with Mr. Joe Johnson. Johnson looks. He's back. He's back. Lost yards on the play. Good defensive stop by Devon Turner of Holmes. Second down and 20. Nine minutes left in the third quarter. Two wide outs to the right, two to the left. McCullum's in the backfield. Johnson looks, he looks, he throws. So McCullum drops the ball. Incomplete pass. Third down and 20. From Holmes' 20-yard line. Eight minutes and 54 seconds left in the third quarter. Kahoma, 16. Holmes, 14. 20 seconds left on the play clock. Kahoma have three wide outs to the right, one to the left. Mr. McCullough's in the backfield. Mr. Johnson's in shotgun formation. Michael Young on the run. Flag is on the play. With 8 minutes and 43 seconds left. Flag is against Kahoma. See, is it a 5 or 10 yard penalty? Ten yard penalty. Third down and 20. Back where we started. Eight minutes and 43 seconds left in the third quarter. Kahoma have two wide outs to the right, two wide outs to the left. Mr. Markel Young in the backfield along with Mr. Joe Johnson. He's in shotgun formation. 13 seconds on the plate clock. So Johnson is back to throw. The pass is caught by Mr. Young. Flag is on the plate. With eight minutes and 14 seconds left in the third quarter. Let's see what the plate, the flag is. Referees are huddling here. We, here come the call. Look like it's against the Tigers of Kahoma. Tell you, the last few plays, I tell you, we're not helping ourselves by all these penalties back to back. Holmes declined the penalty. Fourth down, Kahoma from the 20 yard line. So no assist is coming out to a three-point conversion attempt. He'll be kicking from 25, 26, 27-yard line with eight minutes and 14 seconds in the third quarter. And Mr. Sis has really been busy on tonight. Yes, and throughout the entire season, Coach Macon has always been pleased with 
missed assist performance. A 25 yard attempt. Good. Three point conversion, good. 19 Kahoma, 14 homes. What a great kick by Mr. Noah Sis. Kahoma is playing football tonight. It's a new day. It's a new game here at Kahoma Community College here in the city of Clarksdale, Mississippi. With eight minutes and eight seconds remaining in the third quarter. Absolutely. And we are coming live from James E. Miller Stadium on the campus of Kahoma Community College. Kahoma, 19. Holmes Bulldogs, 14. Sis will be punting off from his own 35-yard line with eight minutes and eight seconds left in the third quarter. And, Mr. Bo, you can tell the difference from the last time the Tigers played in Wamba because this was the exact score. Absolutely. Wamba had 19 and we lost at 14. So it is a high point. It looks like it's going to be a high-scoring game this evening, and we're hoping Kahoma can continue with this lead and pull off the win. We are ranked number third in the North Conference, and we want to continue moving up. Absolutely. You always want to move forward in the conference. And you always want to win, win, and win. Sis will be punting off from his own 35-yard line with eight minutes and eight seconds left in the third quarter. He kind of boosted, short kick. Holmes call a fair catch at their own 30-yard line. I tell you, Miss Marks, I tell you, it's going to come down, like I say, defense win game, offense keep you in. So we're hoping this defense come alive for the Tigers here in the third quarter. And all season long, Coach Macon and his entire staff has told me they are pleased with the defense. Absolutely. They have been playing ball all the year. Javon McDonald, quarterback for Holmes, two wideouts to the right, one to the left, and three in the backfield. Picks up two yards on the play. Second down and eight. Seven minutes and 58 seconds left in the third quarter. What a good ball game we have here in the city of Clarksdale on tonight. Seven minutes and 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Kahoma, 19. Holmes, 14. McDonald's quarterback in for Holmes Bulldog. He's up under the center. He have two wideouts to the right, one to the left, and three in the slot. Picked up one yard on the play. Third down and seven. From their own 34-yard line. Seven minutes and 11 seconds left in the third quarter. 25 seconds left on the plate clock. Mr. McDonald have been up under the center all night tonight for the home Bulldogs. Six minutes and 51 seconds left in the third quarter. Holmes, two wide outs to the right, one to the left, and three in slot. And McDonald's up under the quarterback. Good defensive play by the Tigers of Kahoma. Fourth down and seven. Like Holmes will be punting the ball off to the Tigers. So. Kobe Lockett back to receive the punt for the Tigers. He's standing at his own 30-yard line. Six minutes and 27 seconds left in the third quarter. Kahoma, 19. Holmes, 14. Two seconds on the play clock. Flag is on the play. Delay a game against Holmes. Bag him up five yards. Fourth down and 12. From the 27 yard line of Holmes. Six minutes and 12 seconds left in the third quarter. 
16 seconds left on the play clock. Flag on the plate. Oklahoma Downs is at the 45-yard line. Running into the kick, a 15-yard penalty. First down and 10, Holmes. Mental mistake by the Tigers. Defense has to step up once again here in the third quarter. With five minutes and 54 seconds left in the third quarter. First down and 10, Holmes from their 44-yard line. First down and 10, Holmes from their own 44-yard line. That was a big penalty there by the Tigers. The defense needs to step up and hold the Bulldogs right about now. First down and 10 from their own 44-yard line. With five minutes and 54 seconds left on the game and 15 seconds on the play clock. Quarterback keeps it, picks up one yard on the play. Picked up his own fumble and picked up one yard. With five minutes and 35 seconds left in the third quarter. Holmes, 14. Kahoma, 19. 25 seconds left on the play clock. McDonald's quarterbacking for Holmes Bulldog. One wide out to the right, one to the left. Three in the backfield. Play clock is at five seconds. Fumble the ball again. Tigers comes up. Defense comes up with a big stop. First down and ten. Kahoma. Flag is on the play. Flag is on the play. Let's see what the flag is. Referees are getting together. Five minutes, one second left in the third quarter. Unsportsmanlike conduct against the Bulldogs of Holmes. First down and 10, Cahoma. From Holmes. Thirty-three yard line. First down and ten. Kahoma Tiger from home thirty-three yard line. With five minutes and one second left in the third quarter. Johnson is quarterback. You have two wide outs to the right. Mr. McCullen's in the backfield. Johnson's in shotgun formation. Johnson keeps the ball like he back to the original line of scrimmage. Picked up no yards on the play. Lost one yard. Second down and 11. Four minutes and 44 seconds left in the third quarter. Johnson have two wide outs to the right. 20 seconds left on the play clock. Johnson in the backfield alone. Mr. Young is in motion. Flag on the play. Illegal procedure against the Tigers of Oklahoma. Second down and 16 from Holmes. Thirty-nine yard line. Second down and 16. Four minutes and 20 seconds left in the third. Oklahoma have two wide outs to the right, two to the left. Mr. McCullen's in the backfield with Mr. Johnson. Johnson back. He's looking. He's looking. He throws. The ball is caught. Darius Smith. Picked up three yards on the play. Third down and 13 from the 37-yard line of Holmes. Three minutes and 58 seconds left. Clock is running. 19 seconds on the play clock. And Johnson is in the backfield alone. Three wide outs to the right, two to the left. He's back. He's looking. He's looking. He's running. Flag is on the play. 
Flag is on the play. Holding against the Tigers of Oklahoma. Three minutes and 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Ms. Bell, what can you say is the difference from this game from two weeks ago when we played Itawamba right here? Well, first of all, just look like the Tigers of Oklahoma are more motivated, look like just more ready to play football tonight than they were then. Yes. But we are, these last few plays, I tell you, we just have to get it together on offense. Third down and 23 from Holmes' 47-yard line. Third down and 23 for Oklahoma Tigers. We have three wideouts to the right, one to the left. Michael Young in the backfield along with Mr. Johnson. He gives the ball to Mr. Young. He's out of bounds at 37-yard line. Fourth down and fifth. Tigers will be punting the ball. Sissis is be punting from his own 45-yard line with three minutes and 20 seconds and clock is running. Play clock is down to 20. He kicks it. He calls a fair catch at the 10-yard line of Holmes. With three minutes and six seconds left in the third quarter. Holmes, 14. Cahoma, 19. First down and 10, Holmes, from their own 10-yard line. With three minutes and six seconds left in the third quarter. It's a new day. It's a new game here at Cahoma. James E. Miller Stadium on the campus of Cahoma Community College here in the city of Clarksdale, Mississippi. Yes, and Mr. Bell, even though we were allowed only 25% seating capacity, our fans are here, they showed up, and they are making their chairs and their voices heard as they want CCC Tigers to pull away with this win tonight and continue having a winning season. Absolutely. Quarterback keeps it, picks up one yard on the play. Second down and nine, Holmes. Twenty-five seconds on the play clock. Two minutes and forty seconds left on the third quarter. The clock is running. Holmes had one wide out to the right, one to the left. Quarterback has been up under the center all night tonight. Eleven seconds on the play. Well, twenty-five seconds on the play clock. Two minutes and twenty-five seconds left in the third quarter. Holmes have. Three in the backfield. One man in motion. Picked up three yards on the play. That looked like number one, Desmond Williams. He's um, coming out of Cleveland Central High School. On the stop. What a play. Third down and seven. We need a defensive stop here so we can get the ball back on offense. Third down and seven. From their own 13-yard line with one minute and 47 seconds left in the third quarter. Yes. 15 seconds left on the play clock. And Coach Macon did predict that this is going to be a fast game against Holmes because this is normally how they play. Absolutely. Holmes had one wide out to the right, one to the left, and three in the backfield. Man in motion. Fourth down. Holmes will be punting the ball off to the Tigers. One minute and 26 seconds left in the third quarter. Holmes will be punting the ball out of the end zone, out of their own end zone. We should get good run back on this play. The ball is at the 45-yard line. Good play by Mr. Lockett just to let the ball bounce. 
First down and 10, Kahoma Tigers from their own 46-yard line with one minute and 10 seconds left in the third quarter here at James E. Miller Stadium. Kahoma, 19. Holmes, 14. Look like it'll be Joe Johnson quarterbacking. Bryce have the headset on, calling in plays. What a way how to work together. Kahoma have two wide outs to the right. Michael Young in the backfield along with Joe Johnson. He fakes it. He throws. Ball is incomplete pass. Second down and 10. One minute and five seconds left in the third quarter. Kahoma, 19. Holmes, 14. 25 seconds left on the play clock for the Tigers. The Tigers have two wide outs to the right. Johnson in shotgun formation. Picked up one yard on the play. Mr. McCullen on the play. Picked up one yard. 45 seconds left in the third quarter. Third down and nine. Kahoma. Yeah, one wide out to the right. Two, three to the left. Mr. McCullen's in the backfield along with Mr. Joe Johnson. Third down and nine. 30 seconds left on the game clock. Johnson is back. He's looking. He throws to McCullough. Complete pass. Went out of bounds at 43-yard line. First down and 10, Kahoma Tigers. 21 seconds. 21 seconds left in the third quarter. What a good throw by Mr. Johnson. What a good catch and run by Mr. McCullough. Kahoma had one wide out to the right, three to the left. Mr. McCullough's in the backfield. 18 seconds left in the third quarter. He gives the ball to Mr. McCullough. Flag is on the plate. With nine seconds left in the third quarter. See what the flag is. Chop block against the Tigers of Kahoma. Chop block against the Tigers of Kahoma. So it'll be the first down, 25, from Kahoma on 45-yard line. First down and 25. Eight seconds left on the game clock. End of third quarter. Kahoma, 19, Holmes, 14. What a good game here in Clarksdale, Mississippi on tonight. Yes, and Tigers just has to keep this up going into the last quarter, put some points on the board, or continuously to keep this lead. Absolutely. We just need to keep this momentum going into the fourth quarter. I tell you, all the year the defense has really played some football here for Kahoma Community College. And it's not going to be easy because obviously Holmes is going to be trying offensively. But this is where the defense shows up and shows out the last 15 minutes of the game. is going to be the most important quarter of the entire game thus far. Because anything can happen right now. They are only down by five. For those of you listening on the radio, WCQC 91.3 FM. Holmes has 14, Tigers has 19. So anything can happen, but we are hoping that Tigers keep this lead or get a touchdown just to secure the win. Ab- absolutely, Ms. Mark. Any points is good points right about now. First down and 25 from the own, home own 45-yard line. First down and 25. And I'm just really impressed about the speed of the game. It doesn't even feel like you're ready been through three quarters this is a fast mm-hmm. game tonight i tell you you went get some popcorn or a hot dog or something to drink or use the bathroom come back you're gonna miss the whole lot of football here tonight first down in 25 from our own 45 yard line 15 minutes left in the contest
picked up no yards on the play. Second down and 25 from our own 45-yard line. Mr. McCullough on the play. Mr. Markel Young is in the game. Mr. Young, McCullough has gone out. Mr. Young have came in, come in. And Mr. Joe Johnson have quarterbacked all night tonight. He has one, two wide outs to the right, two wide outs to the left. Mr. Markel Young in the backfield along with Mr. Joe Johnson. Second down and 25. He's back. He's looking. He throws. The ball is caught. By Mr. Lockett. Good catch. Picked up. 23 yards on the play. Third down and two. Cahoma. From Holmes. 35-yard line. 14 minutes left in the third quarter. In the fourth quarter. 20 seconds left on the play clock. Johnson looks. He gets the play. Two wide outs to the right. One to the left. Mikael Young is in the backfield along with Mr. Johnson. Johnson keeps it straight up to Miller. Fourth. Fourth and one. For the Cahoma Tigers. With 13 minutes and 29 seconds left in the ball game. Thirteen minutes and fifteen seconds left in the ball game. Twenty seconds left on the play clock. Joe Johnson looks. He gets the play. One wide out to the left. Two wide outs to the left. Twelve seconds on the play clock. Tigers. Timeout. Tigers. Twelve minutes and fifty five seconds. Cahoma nineteen. Holmes, 14. We'll take a commercial break. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Cahoma football. Fourth down and one. Twelve minutes and 55 seconds left in the game. Johnson's in shotgun formation. Tigers turn the ball over on downs. First down and ten. Holmes. From their own 35-yard line. With 12 minutes and 50 seconds left in the ball game. Offense. We needed that first down then. But let's go again, defense. I tell you, the defense have really played their hearts out tonight. First down and 10, home from their own 34 yard line. 12 minutes and 50 seconds left in the ball game. 20 seconds left on the play clock. Homes have no wide outs. Three in the backfield. Man in motion. Lost yards on the play. He lost four yards on the play. Second down and 14. From the 31-yard line of Holmes. 12 minutes and 20 seconds left in the ball game. The clock is running. 15 seconds on the play clock. Javon McDonald's quarterback the whole game for Holmes Bulldog. No wide outs, just McDonald three backs in the backfield with 12 minutes left in the ball game. Second down and 14, Holmes. Timeout, Holmes. The fishes are talking. They're like no timeouts. Fisher didn't reset the clock. We'll stay right here. 
with 11 minutes and 55 seconds left in the game. Kahoma 19, Holmes 14. Head officials talking to Coach Macon, letting him know what was going on. So Holmes, second down and 14. 11 minutes and 55 seconds left in the ball game. Play clock will be again on the official. 20 seconds left on the play clock. Second down and 14. Home. One wide out to the right, one to the left. Man in motion. Picked up about seven yards on the play. Third down. And seven from their own 38-yard line. With 11 minutes and 30 seconds left in the ball game, the clock is running. 20 seconds on the play clock. McDonald's the quarterback. One wide out to the right, one wide out to the left, and running back in the backfield. He's up under the center. Man in motion. Great defensive stop by the Tigers. Brandon Dean. It's important to note that Holmes has not won a game for the entire season. So at this point in time now, they are really hungry. They are really excited and feel like they need to have a win going forward for the season. Absolutely. Ten minutes and 45 seconds left. Holmes will be punting from his own 18-yard line. Flag is on the play. Flags on the play. Illegal substitution against who? With 10 minutes and 33 seconds left in the ball game. Waiting on the referees. 10 minutes and 33 seconds left in the ball game. Illegal substitutions. Fourth down and 11. Holmes will be punting the ball from his 20-yard line once again. Mr. Lockett is back for the Tiger at his own 30-yard line. 10 minutes and 33 seconds left in the ball game. Fourth down and seven for Holmes Bulldog. First down and ten, Tigers from the twenty-seven yard from their own twenty-seven yard line. Oh, that was a nifty play by Mr. Lockett there. That could have been trouble. With 10 minutes and 15 seconds left in the ball game, Kahoma Tigers, 19, Holmes, 14. First and 10 from our own 22-yard line. This is a great ball game here tonight. Just need to come out with the W and finish the season strong. First down and 10, Joe Johnson is quarterback and two wide outs to the right, two to the left, and Mr. McCullough's in the backfield. He's out at the 40-yard line. First down and 10. Kahoma Tigers. Good run by Mr. Keandre McCullough. And he has been on it the entire season, showing that he will not be stopped. Absolutely. That's the type of force we need to finish this game. We need to finish it strong. Joe Johnson back throwing. Darius Smith, first down and 10. The 45-yard line of 
Holmes Bulldog. Nine minutes and 42 seconds left in the ball game. Timeout, Holmes. With nine minutes and 42 seconds left in the ball game, we're going to commercial. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Kahoma Sports. First down and 10, Kahoma, from their own 45-yard line. Two wide outs to the right, two to the left. McCullen picked up two yards on the play. Second down and eight. From our own 43-yard line of Holmes. Nine minutes and 20 seconds left in the ball game. Joe Johnson, quarterback, he's in shotgun formation. Mr. McCullough's in the backfield. Three wide outs to the right and one to the left. Play clock, 20 seconds left. Johnson gets, he gets it to Mr. McCullough. Picks up six yards on the play. Third down and three. From the 37-yard line of Holmes. With nine minutes left in the ball game. Kahoma, 19. Holmes, 14. The play clock is at 20 seconds. Joe Johnson has two wide outs to the right, two to the left. Mr. McCullough's in the backfield. Gives it to Mr. McCullough. Picks up the first down. First down and 10. Kahoma tight with eight minutes and 40 seconds left in the ball game. Mr. McCullough coming out. He needs some water. He needs a break. Well-deserved break for Mr. McCullough. A job well done. Kahoma have two wide outs to the right, two to the left. Mr. Michael Young's in the backfield along with Mr. Johnson. He's back. He's throwing. Good catch by Darius Smith. First and goal from the three-yard line, Kahoma. Eight minutes and 20 seconds left in the ball game. And Darius Smith is from Armory High School. First down and goal. Lost yards on the play. Michael Young lost two yards. Second down and goal. From the 11-yard line. Second down and goal from the 11-yard line. Tiger, eight minutes. Clock is running in the ball game. We have 20 seconds left on the play clock. With seven minutes and 53 seconds left in the ball game. Joe Johnson, quarterback, and have two wide outs to the left. Michael Young in the backfield along with Mr. Johnson. Play clock is at five. Darius Smith caught the ball, complete pass, but picked up no yards. Third down and goal for Kahoma. Lost three yards on the play. Third down and 14. From the 14-yard line of Holmes. Seven minutes left in the ball game. Joe Johnson quarterback and two to the wide outs to the left. Mr. Young in the backfield. Joe keeps it, keeps it straight up to Miller. Straight 
stops to play be No assist is coming out to attempt three-point conversion. He'll be kicking it from the 15-yard line with six minutes and 40 seconds left in the ball game. Cahoma 19, Holmes 14. So no assists have really been working out this year. 15-yard attempt for the three-point conversion. No good. Six minutes and 29 seconds left in the ball game. Holmes, first down and 10 from the own 15-yard line. First down and 10 from the own 15-yard line with six minutes and 29 seconds left in the ball game. Cahoma, 19, Holmes, 14. McDonald's quarterback in for Holmes. No wide out to the right or to the left, just three in the backfield along with Mr. McDonald. The defense needs a stand here with six minutes, 29 seconds left in the ball game. We need a defensive stop here. First and 10, Holmes. Picks up a first down at the 30-yard line. First down and 10, Holmes, from their own 30-yard line. With six minutes and 20 seconds left in the ball game. Six minutes and 18 seconds left in the ball game. Holmes, first and 10 from their own 30-yard line. Play clock is at 20 seconds. The game clock is at six minutes and nine seconds left in the ball game. McDonald's up under the center. No wide out to the, one wide out to the left, none to the right. Man in motion. McDonald picked up five yards on the play. Second down and five. His own 35-yard line. Five minutes and 50 seconds left in the ball game. Cahoma, 19. Holmes, 14. Defense needs a defensive stop here or an interception. Either one would be good right about now for the Tacoma Tigers. McDonald's quarterback had one wide out to the left. Three in the backfield along with him. He's up on the center. With five minutes and 37 seconds left in the ball game. Seven seconds left on the play clock. Give it to the up back. Picked up no yards on the play. Third down and six. Five minutes and 18 seconds left in the ball game. Third down and six. Five minutes left in the ball game. 20 seconds left on the play clock. McDonald's up under center. One wide out to the left. Three in the backfield. Four minutes, some change left in the ball game. Ten seconds on the play clock. Five. Fourth down and one for Holmes from the 39-yard line. Their own 39-yard line. Four minutes and 30 seconds left in the ball game. 25 seconds left on the play clock. Fourth and one for Holmes. The defense need a big defensive stop here with four minutes and 20 seconds left in the ball game. 16 seconds left on the play clock. Ten. Four minutes and eight seconds left in the ball game. Timeout, Holmes. Four minutes left in the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Cahoma, 19. Holmes, 14. Commercial break.
penalty on the play. Offside against Holmes. I'll bag him up five yards. Fourth down and six instead of a fourth and one with four minutes left in the ball game. Fourth down and six. With four minutes left in the ball game. Kahoma, 19. Holmes, 14. We need a big defensive stop here, ladies and gentlemen, by the Kahoma Tigers defense. Fourth down and six for Holmes. McDonald's up on the quarterback. From his own 34-yard line. One wide out to the left. Three in the backfield. Four minutes left in the ball game. Fourth down and six. Fumble the ball. Fumble. Kahoma have it. First down and ten. Kahoma from Holmes. 35-yard line. Three minutes and 55 seconds left in the ball game. Flags are all over the field. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Unsportsmanlike conduct against Kahoma. To all our fans listening on on WC. Fifteen yard penalty against the Tigers. Stay tuned. There is only three minutes and fifty five seconds left for tonight's game. CCC is leading nineteen homes fourteen. You don't want to miss this. Do not go anywhere. Three minutes and 55 seconds remaining. Kahoma first down and 10 from midfield with three minutes and 55 seconds left in the ball game. One wide out to the right, two to the left. Mr. McCullough and Mr. Young in the backfield behind Joe Johnson. He's in shotgun formation. McCullen's in motion. Michael Young going to seal the deal. He may take it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Tigers. Touchdown, Tigers. Mr. Michael Young. What a run by that young man. Tigers, 25. Holmes, 14. Three minutes and 42 seconds left in the ball game. And our fans are standing on their feet. This is what they were waiting for all night long, and this is going to seal the deal. Three Abs. minutes and 42 seconds left, but the score is 25 now. Tigers 14 homes. Absolutely. No assists in for the extra point from the 10-yard line. Good. And it's good. 26 Tigers. Bulldogs 14. Three minutes and 42 seconds left in the ball game. Kahoma Tigers are on the go. Kahoma Tigers are on the move. It's a new day. It's a new game. Here at James E. Miller Stadium. Let's go Tigers. Three minutes and 42 seconds left in the ball game. Miss Mark, what do you like about that play? Well, it was just the energy. They knew from the jump they will not be stopped. They are looking at the time, and they know they needed to put points on the board, and they seized the opportunity. They saw it, and they took it. And that is why the score, we are up now 26 to 14, and I still believe there is more to come for the Tigers in this last 3 minutes and 42 seconds. Now, don't get me wrong. Holmes is going to try to come back, but I love this energy, and I think they're going to seal the deal tonight. Absolutely. The fans are up, standing up all over the place. The band is playing. I tell you, this is Football, 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 2020 here at Kahoma Community College. No assist will be kicking the ball off from his own 35-yard line. Booth kicked it. Holmes up back. They brought the ball back to midfield. Flags all over the field. Three minutes and 31 seconds left in the ball game. Home first down and 10 from midfield. We have to see what the flags are. Officials are getting together. 
with three minutes and 31 seconds left in the ball game. The band is playing. The people are upstanding and doing everything here at James E. Miller Stadium on this afternoon, on tonight. The referees are talking to Coach Macon, letting him know what the flag was. With three minutes and 31 seconds left in the ball game. Thus far, it's been a good, clean, played ball game by both teams. Unsportsmanlike conduct against Holmes. 15-yard penalty. The first down and 10 from their own 35-yard line. With three minutes and 31 seconds left in the ball game. Coach Macon is on the field talking to his players. With three minutes and 31 seconds. First down and 10. Holmes Bulldogs. From their 13. From their own 13 yard line. First down and 10. Home Bulldog from their own 13 yard line. With three minutes and 31 seconds left in the ball game. Holmes 14. Kahoma Tigers 26. 20 seconds left on the play clock. McDonald's up under center. Two wide outs to the right, one to the left. Lost five yards on the play. Second down and 15 with three minutes left in the ball game. Three minutes left in the ball game. 20 seconds on the play clock. Tigers of Kahoma, 26. Bulldogs of Holmes, 14. One wide out to the right, one to the left. McDonald's upon the center. Two minutes and 55 seconds left in the ball game. Second down and 15, Holmes. Picked up two yards on the play. Third down and 13 with two minutes and 38 seconds left in the ball game. The clock is running. Oh, Miss Mark, looks like Kahoma have their second win of the season. Yes. And we knew it was going to come. You know, we saw it against it at Wamba, and we were unsuccessful. But I think the team had enough time to regroup and focus. Absolutely. We can get some of those injured players. We have injured healthy for next week, and the week after we'll be in good shape. And it also shows our diversity that even though we have injured players, we're still able to play a great game tonight. Third down, pass incomplete. Fourth down and 12 for Holmes. With one minute and 59 seconds left in the ball game. What a great win for the Tigers of Kahoma. With one minute and 59 seconds left in the ball game. Tigers of Kahoma, 26. Bulldogs. Holmes, 14. Flag on the play. Delay a game against the Bulldogs. Bag them up five yards. Fourth down and 17. They'll be punting from their own end zone with one minute and 59 seconds left in the ball game. Mr. Lockett standing at his own 40-yard line. Took a home bounce, bouncing back to the 30, 33-yard line. 32-yard line of Kahoma. First down and 10. Kahoma Tigers with one minute and 43 seconds left in the ball game. We can breathe in and breathe out and see. This one goes to the Tigers of Kahoma. What a great win for Coach Macon and staff and for the Kahoma Community College family. First down and 10. From our own 32-yard line with one minute and 42 seconds left in the ball game. Joe Johnson is quarterback, and he's in shotgun formation. All the Tigers need to do is take care of the ball right about now. With one minute and 42 seconds left in the game. 
We want to continue this winning energy as we have another home game next week against Mississippi Delta right here at 6.30 p.m. on Thursday, November 12th. First down and 10, Tigers. Did he stay in bounds? Oh, he went out of bounds. He needs to stay in bounds and let the clock run. One minute and 30 seconds left in the ball game. Great run by Mr. McCullough. I tell you, the Tigers have played some football this night. One minute and 20 seconds left in the ball game. Looks like we're going to kneel it down here with a minute and 15 seconds left in the ball game. 17 seconds left on the play clock. 10 seconds left on the play clock. A minute and five seconds left in the game. Five seconds left on the play clock. Joe Johnson takes it. Kneel down. 55 seconds left in the ball game. Forty-eight second in counting. Joe Johnson going attempt to kneel it down once again. 38 seconds left in the ball game. 18 seconds on the play clock. 10 seconds on the play clock. 29 seconds left in the ball game. Ball game is over. The contest is over, ladies and gentlemen. Cahoma Community College Tigers 26. Holmes Bulldogs 14. What a good game here at James E. Miller Stadium. I am Kenneth Bell, your play-by-play -play announcer here at Cahoma Community College, along with Ms. Marks, my SID. Yes, so thank you to everyone who was listening on WCQC 91.3 FM, as well as everyone who was looking on, on at Cahoma Sports. To everyone who was viewing on CohomaSports.com, thank you very much. We will see you guys next week right here at the James E. Miller Stadium as we face Mississippi Delta at 6.30 p.m. on November 12th. We will see you guys a good night. Good night from James E. Miller Stadium. <laughs>